2005, the city of Dubai picked up the company Adas to build the proposed Dubai Metro line. On the 21st of March 2006, the construction for the said project began. On the 9th of September 2009, on precisely 9.99 p.m., Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum inaugurated the red line. Happy, something. It's a great occasion, you know. Uh, it is like uh, flying the first Emirates or something great. Today, the metro is the backbone of the city and is used by 300,000 plus people every day. The green line starts all the way over at Creek Station and ends on the other side at Atisalat Station. The red line starts at Center Point and ends all the way over at the Expo 2020 station. The whole system is driverless, but how does it work? Each station has its own control room, which is connected to the main operational control center. The fiber optic network links to the OCC to track stations and depots. Here's a look at the operational control center, the brain of the Dubai Metro, located at Rashidiya Depot. Running a driverless train, it has uh, a better punctuality and uh, adherence to timetable management uh, because we are removing a lot of uh, human factor error from the system. So comparing our system to others, because we run a nearly two and a half minutes headway, um, there is no system in the world that is capable of running uh, that aggressive headway with a driver. What's surprising is that 15 people, including four train controllers, run the entire Dubai Metro. The large screen shows the train movement in real time. What you can see from the large screen, you can see the train movement, for example, the train number 4646, and once it stops in Jabal Ali station, the black dot, the black dot is the metro door, the metro door opening, or the metro door uh, uh, opening. And the one above is the platform screen door opening or closing. And then you see the station name and then you see the countdown timer. You see or you measure through this countdown timer. You measure if the train is on time or is it delayed for the system to do its own calculation in case there is a delay to adjust the speed of the metro or to inform the other uh, metros ahead or behind to adjust their speed to reform or re-catch up with the headway. The trains are run according to the timetable saved in the computer at the OCC. That's the timetable, what is the required headway of the system, what time the train should depart a particular station, and at what time should the train uh, arrive into the destination station. At night, the trains are serviced at the depot with the help of depot controllers. For every train that arrives and departs on time, there's a control room that never sleeps. <laughs> 